What's up guys, it's Sam here and in today's video I have got my hands on the Pokemon Go tins released July 15th So yes, I know I'm a bit late with the video But yeah, you guys know what these tins are pretty much all about Because I'm sure you've already um, had a glimpse of them But if not, then here we go guys um, It is Snorlax, Pikachu and Blissey The tin artworks are really, 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 really cool um, I like the whole blue theme that they've kept um, with this considering it is Pokemon Go and they each come with their own promo cards now each of them come with a guaranteed Pikachu promo I believe which is the sword and shield uh, I don't know what number it is but it will fit into your sword and shield promo binder if you guys are making a sword and shield promo binder like me if you guys aren't then yeah it's clearly not going to fit in your binder but yeah, so the card is a Pikachu holding a gift from Pokemon Go and then you get like these um, different hollow variants of Pokemon that are actually pullable from the set. So we've got Blissey, Pikachu and Snorlax as the variant. So let's just quickly get into this, right? So there is the promo card that you're pretty much guaranteed to get i'm pretty sure it's just pikachu i mean i'm sure i'll find out let me know in the comments if not but yeah so there's a the promo card so on shield two three four so the only way to get this promo card is via these tins it is a very cool promo um so yeah only way to get your hands on this promo card this pikachu promo card is via these tins and then they also come with these pullable Promos. So now the only difference with this is the hollow effect is quite different. It's caught kind of like a starry hollow or I think I think the official term of it is like a cosmic hollow or something. But as you can see, usually the hollows that come in the set have lines across the hollow foil. But this one has like a kind of like a starry cosmic -y effect as well. And also you can see that it's set number 50. Well, it's card number 52 out of 78 in the set as well. So that is the difference between those two cards. And then you've got like stickers of all three there pretty cool and then you've got like a one of these cord things there you go guys enjoy that if you want to use that if you guys play the pokemon go game then feel free to use that and there is the cord card as well and then yes you've got four packs from there as well so i'm just going to pop that back in quickly take a look at the rest of the tins to just definitely make sure that it is Pikachu and Pikachu only so yes there is another Pikachu there and there is the Pikachu that is pullable from the main set but with the cosmic -y holo variant there again stickers I'll just get these cords out for you guys those who play Pokemon Go enjoy that those who play the TCG enjoy that and then yes four packs as well so usually with these tins and um, when Pokemon release tins I usually do a video just letting people know what sort of packs you get in but because it is a holiday set there's a Snorlax one as well let me know which one is your favorite um cosmic hollow out of them but yeah usually um they come with like random packs and i like to open them and see what packs they get and let you guys know so you guys can decide what if well if you want to buy those tins or not but here because it's a holiday set it is just all pokemon go packs as well so yes we've got uh man i've mixed up the packs per tin but oh well who cares? Right, four packs each, 10 or 12 packs in total. Let's get straight into it. It is a short and sweet opening. Um, I got all three tins because I want them for my collection. I just like collecting that. You don't necessarily have to collect all three tins. I mean, as you've seen there, they all come with that Pikachu promo. Now, if you guys want three versions of that Pikachu promo, then yeah, just keep buying the tins. Alternatively, um, you could just purchase a promo online separately. I mean, I imagine it wouldn't cost that much. Um, I mean, it is, a, it's a it's a Pikachu, so it might cost a bit more than usual. I'm not sure, but it is just like a holo card, so I'm not really sure, but to be fair, Pokemon prices can go crazy these days anyway. Okay, a full art pull from the first tin. I will definitely take that, and it is a slacking visual. And you know what, it's actually the first time I've seen slacking not laying down. It's the first time I've seen slacking, not slacking. Although he does kind of look like he's about to start slacking. But yeah, anyway, okay, first pull. It is a full art slacking. Super happy with that. Let's open the 
other two packs from the tin. I mean, it's already a tin that's worthwhile anyway. I've, I've got a full art of mission accomplished. Um, in terms of the pull rates, I haven't really had the greatest luck. I know some of you guys have had great luck and congratulations to you guys. I'm not jealous at all, but um, yeah, for me, the set hasn't really been that kind to me. Um, so yeah, in terms of pull rates, I'm not really expecting much now. Um, it must just be bad luck for me at the moment, but I have heard from the vast majority that the pull rates are really, really good. Um, especially from some of the products as well. In terms of these products in specific, I'm not too sure. It's a great start for me. It's a Conkle Derby. I can't remember if I need this or not. I'm going to assume I do. Honestly, I, I open so much, I can't actually remember what I need, what I don't need. But yeah, two hits from the first tin, so pretty happy with that, considering that one of the hits was a full art as well, so that's pretty awesome. But yeah, next up, for Pokemon Go, I think all that remains now is the Pokeballs. Okay, so this is a great example to show you. So this is a normal Blissey, and as you can see, the hollow variant there is just like lines, and then this is the Blissey you get from the tins. So that's the difference in the hollow variant. So that's basically what you are paying for, guys. That and the Pikachu Pro Mind, of course, four packs as well. So it is, it is nice to get that hollow variant as part of your collection. I don't really know how serious you guys want to go with the collection if you want to get every hollow variant. I know a lot of people do. I mean, why wouldn't you? Um, it's just fun and you do kind of want to get all of it. The Sylveon is really, really cool. But yeah, so I'll let you guys decide if you think it's worth it. I personally think it's worth it. Um, I think you get four packs and then you pretty much get two promos. One of the promos is a Pikachu as well. Um, and I know there's a lot of Pikachu only collectors out there, so I mean, it's very useful for you guys. And it is the product that has the lowest amount of packs, meaning that you won't have to actually pay a crazy amount. I mean, you are just getting that, and because it is a holiday set, you don't get anything like a booster box, so you have to actually rely on purchasing these products just to get the packs, unless you buy the packs separately, which I'm pretty sure will be maybe a bit overpriced. Um, I haven't really looked at it. I normally just buy the products. A Melmetal V, okay, this one I definitely have, so I'm not happy with that. So in the second in, it was only the one pull and it was a Melmetal V. But yeah, guys, I think there's only one other product that gives you four packs and that is the Executive V. And if I had to choose between the tin or that product, I would definitely go with the tins. A, because you get two promo cards. Um, B, the promo cards are better. It's a Pikachu or Executor. Um, so yeah, I definitely do think that if you guys purely just want packs, it's probably the best product to buy, um, cost effective wise. However, in terms of pull rates, I mean, well, that's just a enigma in itself, really, isn't it? The pull rates could depend on anything. Some people say the best packs or the best products to get for pull rates are the team boxes. However, from my experience, that isn't the case at all. So, yeah, I mean, it is really up to you guys. Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously? another Mel Metal V straight off the bat. So that's two Mel Metal Vs now as well. So this is what I'm saying, like my pull rates haven't been amazing in terms of like secret rares and alternate arts. I mean, to be honest, I did get the alternate art Conkledur from my first ever product, which was the ETB. Um, but since then, my looks just kind of like ran down a bit. So yeah, for me, it hasn't exactly been amazing. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that back for now because we've got a Dragonite V full art. Whoa, look how cool that card looks. It's a bit miscut, it's a bit miscut, but I'll take it, two full arts from 12 packs already. Wow, it's such a cool card as well. And yeah, I really do like full arts. Full arts are so cool, man. So yeah, okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. So at the moment, only one tin has really been a letdown for me. So, yeah, that's that's pretty good. It's better than what I've had. Like, way better than what I've had. Right, could this be last pack magic? And if not, I guess it's been a pretty decent opening. Um, it's definitely been better. Okay, so we've got a hollow Pikachu there. Okay, so 12 packs, five hits, three very subpar hits, two, well, two of them being duplicates, and then two full acts as well. So yeah, you guys judge what 
what you think of our opening drag knights like me i'm happy with it because i did get two full arts and i really do like full arts i'm not happy with it because i got like a bunch of v's and duplicates that i didn't want but yeah that is it guys that is a short and sweet opening um hopefully with this opening it'll be able to help you judge a bit better whether you want to buy this product or not but if you guys do end up getting these pro well getting this uh, product whether it's all three tins or just one of the tins let me know definitely in the comments what sort of hits you guys are getting but yeah that is it for me i hope you did enjoy the video guys if you did leave a like please feel free to subscribe to the channel and get notifications on my future videos and as always guys i will see you in the next video peace out